counting cows? How hard can it be? Pull up a sandbag. Once upon a time, whilst getting my commercial pilot's licence and doing whatever job I could to earn money in the meantime, I took a job in a cheese factory and I worked my way up to uh, counting cheese. Quite amazing. Lots of them were stolen uh, from the warehouse, so I had to climb up onto the top of stacks of cheese, make sure none were missing at the top. There were 20 kilo blocks and very valuable, and then count them. Stock take every single day. So I see the need. I know the need. I felt the need for automated counting. And um, a new startup has uh, both apps and uh, a Windows based program for counting things. And in fact, that's where you can find them at countingthings.com. Graham Dyer on Facebook uh, pointed this out, and it's to him that uh, that I must shout out for for pointing me in this direction. So let's see, let's see if it will indeed count cows. The use case down here, of course, would be counting game animals: uh, lions, elephants, giraffes, beast of the felt. Best find some cows in just over the river. It's Farmer Steve's cows. Watch and react and run though so I didn't want to fly too close for my shots. If you've seen any of my app reviews, you know jolly well I never read the instructions. I just fumble around, because that's what most users do. I quickly worked out you needed to select an area, and I also worked out that you had to download the correct template. Now look at the template on the top left. You can see those cows that's near vertical and they're packed together. I didn't expect this to work at all, and easy easy, let's get busy. It didn't work, um, so I had to fly again. We've got a lane with cows either side of the lane here, and I could see this lot when I was uh, on the lane, were in the corner, so almost penning themselves in. So if that'll do, I'll go a bit lower, but not too low, and I go straight above them, and didn't work. So other side of the lane, um, this lot. I got as low as I dared, really. I didn't want to, I, um, job isn't to upset the cows, and uh, and and try it again, and unfortunately with exactly the same results. Now I would have left this video at this, at that, and saying it doesn't work, and that's that. But I did uh, send in these photos to the developers, and blow me down if I didn't get a telephone call from them, telling me that they'd work with me to help improve the results. So I'll give it another go, um, if it should work. Oh, and what I should say about this, when I did the count, look, I've changed the template up to the sheep one. <laughs> and guess what? When it gets the sheep one, um, it can find things. So obviously something's awry there. Now you can add and subtract. Now, so you can manually do this. I actually found myself wanting to count the cow pats. Cow pats within a given area, but that's not very good, is it? But um, yeah, you, you can go through it by hand so you can get your, your your count manually once you've got the images but that kind of defeats the point doesn't it anyway the developers have reached out they're going to work with me on trying to improve the results and i'm going to try again and I'm, I'm quite looking forward to it and then i'll try with other animals i've got access to giraffe and zebra and all manner of other things that we uh, do the radio tracking of so if we can get that working that would be great uh, i know a chap uh, who's tracking hippos at the moment, or counting hippos at the moment, so this would be just perfect for him. So um, stay tuned, I'll try again, and we'll see if we can't make uh, this algorithm work better. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do whatever else you need to do on the Tube of the U, and don't forget to join us at 2100 every Tuesday for our weekly hangout full of nonsense. Take care now, cheers.